All right, so if you want to know like which features you should take advantage of and then which of them are like, that's cool technology, but it's probably not something I'm going to use. I'm going to show you what, what I use and the things that I'm going to add. A big part of that comes from the control center. We're focused on the top right corner where the battery or the Wi-Fi icon is and kind of right in the middle of the top right corner. And then when you pull down, you're going to get your control center they're ready to go. Now, this is the default layout, the one that I'm looking at right here. Take the time to refine this for the first time ever, and in probably maybe one too many years, Apple is giving us the ability to actually modify this location. Back at the top in the favorites section is what I'm looking forward to setting up, because now I can put things at the bottom. Here's what I mean by that. What we're gonna do is click the plus sign in the top left, or you can just hold your finger anywhere in the empty space at the bottom. But I'm gonna hit the plus sign up there. It's gonna give me the opportunity to see two things now on each one of the control center widgets. In the top left-hand corner, I can see a minus sign and say, I, I don't want that anymore. I'm actually gonna do that for the timer. I've never really used a timer for, especially through the control center. If I need it, I'll go through the clock app. The other thing is in the bottom right of all the icons, and this one I'm excited about because you can see here, if I move this, number one, I can put these at the very bottom. And not only can I put them at the bottom, I can make them twice as large. You can see here, bottom left corner, I'll resize that camera app. So it just gives me a bigger target. Some of these have additional features or information if you actually make them larger. Here for the camera, you can go ahead and make it twice as big in order to say, hey, that's just a bigger target for my thumb to hit. Now, I actually would be putting the camera at the bottom if I didn't have this iPhone 16 Pro because we have the new button down the side on the phone physically that launches the camera itself. We have the one at the top, which is that good old power button that we all have, and then the one underneath it now launches the camera just with a single click. So you may want to put the the camera button there on the control center for a quick launch. For me, I'm gonna move it back up to where it was. And instead, I'm gonna bring down this home icon. I do have quite a few icons, quite a few smart devices, rather, in the home. And if you are interested in those, let's talk about it. It's really nice to tell Siri to turn off the lights when you go to bed, all right? I know we're used to clap, clap. The clapping's gone. I don't know why. I always loved the clap clap. Seems like the clap clap was a really good invention for all of humanity. For some reason, I, I think it was a cultural thing. It certainly wasn't a utility thing. We said we don't want the clap clap anymore. So now we tell Siri, turn off the lights or something that's kind of cool. That's tough with the clap clap <laughs> is uh, telling Siri to turn the lights to 50% or 30% or 80% or turn the fan up or down. All that has been a huge blessing for the family. And then we can launch the app straight from there and you can go through and you can see different things, different lights, different fans, Shark Boy, Lava Girl lights that we've named. You can have fun with it too. Let's go back now to the control center and just take a look. I'm going to hold so you can see here, let's get out of let's get out of the modification. They're they're in certain locations and this for me is a big deal because if I'm in the home screen and I want to get to the control center, I'm kind of dragging my finger down. And when I stop dragging my finger, I'm now, my, my thumb is now rested near the bottom of the screen. It was always an extra hassle to go all the, drag your finger down and go all the way back to the top to get to the thing that I probably want to interact with most, which for a lot of reasons was airplane mode. So I have airplane mode all the way in the top left. It's in that cluster up there. If I actually click add a control, I can come down here and look through all my different options and I'm actually gonna add an airplane mode just by itself. That's actually one of the main things that I'll use while I'm traveling and you, you wanna think like what are some of the main functions of the control center that I'll use? In addition to airplane mode, something that's even more frequent, which means it's going to the very bottom, very bottom row is the coolest kids, all right? Cool, cool kids on the bus, they're not in the back row, they're in the front row because we're also gonna go and get Bluetooth that's one that I turn on off and on quite a bit. I'm actually going to move it. You can see it's highlighted now. And you'll be like, well, Scott, it's already up here in the top left-hand corner. Yes, but also I got to click on this little cluster. And then that brings me actually to the third page. That third page then gives me a Bluetooth option where I can go through and modify the Bluetooth settings or turn it off and on. That's too many clicks.
okay? We can make that much more efficient and have Bluetooth on down here. And I really want the Bluetooth to be quick and easy to access. If I get in my wife's car and I'm a passenger, we're trying to listen to music on her phone, my phone's trying to take over, just pull down on the control center so that you can turn Bluetooth on and off. Now, if we go to one more, because in addition to something that I turn on and off frequently, right in the same vein of Bluetooth is gonna be that Wi-Fi. Sometimes Wi-Fi is not cutting it, and in order to troubleshoot it quickly, I just need to go and just turn it off and get that cellular connection in. See if Wi-Fi calling is causing an issue or something like that. It's a good troubleshooting technique, and I, t and I toggle that quite a bit. Here's another reason I turn it off. Love HEB, love HEB. Sometimes HEB Wi-Fi is not so good. <laughs> so I'm in HEB and I'm having trouble loading um, the item that my wife told me to get at the grocery store. I, I'll turn the Wi-Fi off and just use cellular data because it tends to be a little bit faster. And they don't have a Wi-Fi only icon. That can't be correct, is that true? Yeah, it's only in the connectivity. So that's gonna be something that I'm gonna to have to think about. I'm gonna move that whole thing down here since they don't have a standalone icon. I'm gonna to have to move it. And, oh, come on now. I'm gonna to have to move it near the bottom and it's gonna behave perfectly for demonstration purposes. No, it's not letting me resize that. Okay, that's, that's closer. I, top left-hand corner is tough, but you can see here, we're working to develop the most efficient way for you. For example, that was kind of odd. They gave me two, two uh, silent options. I got two little ringers right here. And as if you look, it's interesting. You turn one off, they both turn off. You turn one on, they both turn on. I kind of think it's neat having two, but let's make sense of this. Let's get rid of one. And then I'm just going to grab the other one down here and make it twice as big. We can see silent mode now. I get more information about exactly the kind of silent mode that it's set on. And I think more importantly for an iPhone 16, and 15 Pro users, you have that action button up there in the corner. Now, the action button can put the phone on silent like we're all used to seeing, that's what it was before. More recently though, they made the button programmable, and that's another class for another day, but I have mine set to just launch the calendar. I'm always checking in on the calendar, what am I supposed to do next, what's the next call we have here at Mr. Mac, who's the next member that we're gonna set up a session for. So that actually launches the calendar, I use it immediately, all day, every day. Pull down from the top right, and now as my finger, this is when you get really fine-tuned with your iPhone, and you really start to enjoy how easy it is for you. I pull down from the top right corner, and then boom, right away I can see silent mode, off. Now we're set up for calls. Now we're set up in a really efficient way. I got some free space over here on the left. You know, there are two other items that I use all the time. Really, you know, I, you have volume, which is available for modification here directly in your control center. That one, I got the buttons on the left. I'm already gonna use that. But the other one that I really enjoy is screen brightness. I'm modifying that a couple times a day usually just to get the, it perfect and you can see these widgets are hopping around a little bit and we wanna resize these so I can get all four of these across the top, followed by my Wi-Fi, followed by my volume, followed by my screen brightness, and now we really got a control center that's coming together and looking good. We got some separation between the different apps, let me know exactly where I can find everything, and you know what? There's gonna be one more that's gonna get an upgrade. I'm actually going to put two on the phone because it is, for me, one of the best apps that has uh, become available in the control center. Let's click it right there. You already know what it is. It's the flashlight. It's going to get an extra wide location. I'm going to grab that right in the bottom right-hand corner, flashlight on, flashlight off. And if you've noticed, there is now a new focus beam for the flashlight where you can actually change the width of the beam here at the top. Let's see if we can get that to show. Yeah, wide, narrow, and it's doing it. I know you can't see that part on screen, but it will act, oh, no, you can kind of see it. That's pretty cool, right? All right, these devices get great, and you want to stay on top of being able to modify them so you can take advantage of all the excellent and new features that are available to you. Enjoy.